What is going on guys, Apple Fox here, and guess what? Apple has released another iOS update for iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touches. Well, to make it clear at first, this is just a beta update, so don't go into settings to find it in case you're not part of the beta program. And in this video, just like every time, I will be telling you all you need to know about it, even though there is not much, <laughs> spoiler alert, there is not much, but I wanted to make this video anyways, because I wanted to let you know that we already have it, and the update, I mean the public update, is going to be available soon. So this is the actual update in the settings, as you can see, it is kind of weird, but every time I see this type of update, I just have to say that most of the time it doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, the description is saying that it contains bug fixes and improvements all the time is kind of annoying. I know that not everyone can actually see this because it's part of the beta, but the description, it doesn't say a word about the changes present in this update. I know that this time we don't have anything except for bug fixes and improvements, so now it actually makes sense, but many times it doesn't. I already mentioned this many times in videos, and we still hope to see it change in the future. So as I said, there are no visual changes or something you can go ahead and see on your iPhone, but it should fix some bugs, hopefully those that were annoying, and also hopefully the security will be better. Not saying that iPhones aren't secure enough, but the security holes being fixed are always great. When the final version drops, by the way, nobody knows when exactly this will be, but when it does, you're going to update to the final version, and I'll of course make a video on that, so make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss it. So even if there are no changes in this beta, there will be some changes from the previous betas. So let's take a look at what iOS 10.3.2 looks like so far. So the VPN, the virtual private network, should work as expected. That's something that was added in the second beta of 10.3.2, it's definitely great that something like this has been improved, even though there are many people who use the virtual private network. But in case you do use it, then you shouldn't experience any problems. And also, this is probably one of the last versions of iOS 10 before the iOS 11 drops. It's not confirmed in any case that this is the last one. We could also see iOS 10.3.3, which won't bring much because the 10.3.2 doesn't bring much either. And maybe also 10.3.4, but in my opinion, nothing beyond. So guys, there was just a quick video, some people may say that there is nothing in this update and there pretty much is nothing to talk about, but I wanted to let you guys know that it's here and we're getting closer to the final version and so on. In case there will be more betas that don't bring anything new what I could show you, then I'll combine the update with something else and make a video on that. So it will be like the title of the video plus iOS 10.3.2 beta 4 released. Let me know what you guys think about this and all of the betas if you want. Subscribe for more and see you next time.